The moon, our steadfast celestial neighbor, has fascinated humanity for countless generations. Its presence in the night sky has been a perpetual source of awe and inspiration, shaping cultures, religions, and even the trajectory of human history. Its soft glow lights up our night sky, casting a tranquil light that has inspired innumerable myths and legends. From ancient times to the present day, the moon has symbolized mystery and romance, serving as a muse for poets and dreamers alike. Yet the moon holds a secret, a hidden face that is always turned away from us. This mysterious side, known as the far side of the moon, has intrigued scientists and stargazers for ages. This is the far side of the moon, a place cloaked in mystery and allure, a domain that has called to explorers and scientists for generations. Unlike the familiar near side, the far side features a rugged, cratered landscape that has remained largely uncharted. For centuries, the far side of the moon was a blank slate upon which we projected our hopes and fears. It was a realm of speculation and imagination where the unknown fueled our curiosity and our drive to explore. Some envisioned it as a desolate wasteland, a barren expanse devoid of life and activity. Others imagined it as a paradise untouched by human hands, a pristine landscape waiting to be discovered. It wasn't until the dawn of the space age that we finally pierced the veil of secrecy and caught our first glimpse of this enigmatic realm. The advent of space exploration opened up new possibilities and allowed us to venture into the unknown. In 1959, the Soviet spacecraft Luna 3 sent back the first grainy images of the far side, revealing a landscape starkly different from the familiar face we know so well. These images showed a rugged terrain filled with craters and mountains, a stark contrast to the relatively smooth plains of the near side. This groundbreaking mission marked a turning point in our understanding of the moon, igniting a firestorm of scientific curiosity that continues to burn brightly to this day. The far side of the moon, once a distant and mysterious place, has become a focal point for scientific research and exploration, offering new insights into the history and evolution of our celestial neighbor. Today, modern lunar missions continue to explore the far side, using advanced spacecraft and technology to uncover its secrets. These missions are not only expanding our knowledge of the moon, but also paving the way for future exploration and potential human settlement. Scientific instruments placed on the lunar surface are providing valuable data, helping us to understand the moon's geology, its formation, and its potential resources. This research is crucial for planning future missions and for the possibility of establishing a human presence on the moon. The dream of a lunar colony, once the stuff of science fiction, is now within the realm of possibility. As we continue to explore and learn more about the far side of the moon, we are laying the groundwork for a future where humans may live and work on our celestial neighbor. The moon, our constant companion in the night sky, remains a source of wonder and inspiration. Its mysteries continue to captivate us, driving our quest for knowledge and our desire to explore the unknown. As we look up at the moon, we are reminded of the endless possibilities that await us in the cosmos. The moon's near and far sides are like two siblings with distinct upbringings, each bearing unique characteristics. Despite being part of the same celestial body, their appearances and histories are remarkably different, almost as if they belong to separate worlds. The near side, with its dark, smooth maria, Latin for seas and scattered craters, is a familiar sight to us all. These vast plains of basaltic lava give the near side its distinctive look, making it easily recognizable even to the naked eye from Earth. These maria, formed by ancient volcanic eruptions, stand in stark contrast to the heavily cratered highlands that dominate the lunar landscape. The volcanic activity that created these maria occurred billions of years ago, during a time when the moon was still geologically active. The far side, however, tells a different story. Hidden from our view on Earth, it presents a rugged, ancient terrain that has remained largely unchanged for eons. It is a rugged, ancient terrain, pockmarked with countless craters of all shapes and sizes. These craters, formed by impacts from meteoroids and comets, have accumulated over billions of years, creating a surface that is a testament to the Moon's long and tumultuous history. Unlike the near side, the far side is almost entirely devoid of Maria. This absence of volcanic plains gives the far side a much more rugged and cratered appearance. 
making it look vastly different from its sibling hemisphere. This striking difference in appearance has puzzled scientists for decades, leading to intense debate about the forces that shaped our lunar companion. Researchers have proposed various theories to explain why the two sides of the moon are so different, each theory offering a glimpse into the moon's mysterious past. One prevailing theory suggests that the near side's Maria formed as a result of massive impacts from asteroids or comets early in the moon's history. These colossal impacts would have generated enough heat to melt the lunar surface, creating the vast lava plains we see today. These impacts are thought to have excavated large basins that were later filled with molten rock from the moon's interior. As the molten rock cooled and solidified, it formed the smooth, dark plains known as Maria, which are a defining feature of the near side. The far side, shielded from these impacts by the near side, escaped this fate, preserving its ancient cratered surface. This preservation allows scientists to study the far side as a window into the early history of the solar system, providing valuable insights into the processes that shaped not only the moon, but also other celestial bodies. As we continue to explore and study the moon, both its near and far sides offer a wealth of information. Each hemisphere, with its unique characteristics, helps us piece together the complex puzzle of our lunar neighbor's history. The tale of these two hemispheres is a story of contrasts, yet together they form a complete picture of the moon's fascinating past. In the end, the moon's near and far sides remind us of the beauty and complexity of our universe. They are a testament to the dynamic forces that have shaped our solar system and continue to inspire our quest for knowledge and exploration. Exploring the moon's far side showcases human creativity and determination. It highlights our relentless pursuit of knowledge. After Luna 3's groundbreaking mission, numerous spacecraft from different countries have explored this mysterious region, each mission contributing to our understanding of the Moon's history and development. In the 1960s, NASA's Lunar Orbiter program created detailed photographic maps of the entire Moon, including its far side. These maps uncovered vast impact basins, concealed mountain ranges and other fascinating features never seen before. Over the following decades, robotic missions sent back a wealth of data, including gravity measurements and elemental analyses. These missions have enabled us to look beneath the Moon's surface, revealing the secrets of its internal structure and composition. Section 4, Chang'e 4, Touchdown on the Unknown. In 2019, China's Chang'e 4 mission achieved a groundbreaking milestone by performing the first soft landing on the Moon's far side. This extraordinary accomplishment in engineering and navigation has opened a new era in lunar exploration, enabling us to examine the far side with unparalleled precision. The Chang'e 4 mission, consisting of a lander and a rover, successfully landed in the von Karman crater, a significant impact site within the larger South Pole Aitken Basin. This area is of great interest to scientists, as it may contain vital clues about the Moon's early development and the history of the inner solar system. The rover, named U-22 or Jade Rabbit 2, has been actively exploring its environment, transmitting breathtaking images and crucial scientific data. Its suite of instruments is examining the lunar soil's composition, using ground-penetrating radar to study the subsurface, and even performing biological experiments. The James Webb Space Telescope, a new eye on the cosmos. Although not directly linked to lunar exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, has the potential to significantly enhance our knowledge of the Moon and the early solar system. This state-of-the-art observatory, a feat of modern engineering, is designed to probe deeper into the universe than ever before, capturing light from the first galaxies formed after the Big Bang. Its mission, however, also includes studying our own celestial neighbor, the Moon. As the most powerful space telescope ever constructed, JWST's infrared capabilities allow it to see through cosmic dust, unveiling objects and events previously hidden. This ability is not confined to distant galaxies and star-forming regions, but is also essential for examining the more subtle features of our solar system. By observing in the infrared spectrum, 
JWST can detect heat signatures and chemical compositions invisible to other telescopes, offering a fresh perspective on the universe. One significant area where JWST could contribute is in the study of lunar volatiles such as water ice. Water ice on the moon is particularly intriguing because it could be a crucial resource for future lunar missions, providing drinking water, breathable oxygen, and even rocket fuel. By analyzing the distribution and abundance of these volatiles, JWST can help scientists understand the processes that delivered water to the moon and how it has been preserved in the harsh lunar environment. These volatiles trapped in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar poles could offer valuable resources for future human explorers and provide insights into the history of water in the inner solar system. The permanently shadowed regions of the moon are among the coldest places in the solar system, acting as natural cold traps that have preserved water ice for billions of years. Studying these areas with JWST could reveal not only the quantity and purity of the ice, but also its origins, whether from comets, asteroids, or the solar wind. JWST's sensitivity also makes it an excellent tool for studying the lunar surface's composition in greater detail, potentially uncovering rare minerals and isotopes that could illuminate the moon's formation and bombardment history. By examining the spectral fingerprints of these materials, scientists can piece together the moon's geological history, including the impacts that have shaped its surface and the volcanic activity over time. This information is vital for understanding not only the Moon's past, but also the broader history of the inner solar system, including the early Earth.